Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous videos, we saw how we can filter the data while getting from uh, SQL Server and uh, display it in Excel report. Here we saw we can apply a filter on employee ID and only get the employees that report to this particular employee, uh, this particular manager. And here in this, uh, uh, actually this, this was a stored procedure call and we provided this three value employee ID value as a parameter and this can change dynamically and get only the respective records for that particular employee. The sheet four we have this was a table call and um, and we add a filter to get only the record for a particular employee right. So this is a one parameter that you can pass. So what if you know you have more than one parameters. So for today's example I have a query uh, where uh, we have a table called person and we are going to get only the records of those persons who are modified between a particular date. So normally this table contains around 19,000 records, 19,972 records. But let's say if I just want to filter out a few bunch of records between 1st of January 2013 to 10th of January 2013. So we have only 99 records, right? So let's see how we can have this set up here in this Excel. I'll open a new sheet. So here what I want to do is I want to have a start date and this will be my start date and it should look like a box. So I'll make it like a box and this will be my end date and it will it should also look like a box. So what I'll do is I'll get I'll make this as an outside border. So these two look like a box right and I'll also put default dates 2013-01-01 and here also 2013-0110 so so uh, my table will come here below okay so let's go ahead and go to the data tab and other sources and from microsoft query so i'll create a new connection and i'll select the person table and i'll choose my columns and the modified dates names and the modified date next 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 and return data to microsoft query i want to edit the query there click finish and i'll click on the sql button i'll get the query so this is the modified date where i want to filter so i'll put the filter where clause person dot modified date where modified date between question mark and question mark so these two question mark means start date and end date and I'll click OK. So it will ask me the default start date. So this is 2013-1-1 and 2013-1-10. OK and it will pull up the data and you know render it here. And what I'll do is I'll click file and return data to Microsoft Excel. So rather than just dumping data over here, what I'll do is I'll go to properties and go to definitions. Here, I'm gonna associate these two question marks with the parameters. Okay, I'll click on parameters. So these are the two parameters that I'm having here. And uh, default value is this that I applied in the Microsoft query. So what I'll do is I'll associate them with the cells so that I can have a default value, right? And I can change them in future whenever I want. Okay, so both of these values are set. So parameter one points to this one and parameter two points to this two, this one, right? Now I'll click OK and again click OK. Now I where I want to dump the data over here, I'll click OK. So SQL Server will get the data based upon these two dates, right? And if you, I'll just have a, I'll freeze the panes so that I can just, I can see the data as well as have the filters. So you can see it only brought 99 records. So the first, three cells are empty and my record you know started from here so all these are 99 records so what if i again filter it and give some lesser date let's say in two days what all records i got i'll just have to click on refresh and it will you know make the record count even less so you can see here only 19 records i got in first january and second january if i want to check till 5th of January how many records I got in five days so I'll just click on refresh and it will give me that I got how many employees I got around 58 employees 
in these particular date ranges from 1st of January to 5th of January. Okay, so this is how you can play with the uh, parameters and the dates and the tables and similar thing applies for the stored procedure also. You have to make sure that you know you are calling the stored procedure in a correct way by using this one and, uh, and uh, the way I mentioned and uh, showed you in my previous video. Okay, and this is it for today. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.